Damon here with NLP Gym. Reciprocity, giving it everything you've got. If you haven't already, please click subscribe to this YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook and check out our website, which will pop up later uh, at the end of the video. Reciprocity is something we normally think about in terms of a relationship we have with another person. It is the give and take. It is uh, I give you something and I expect something in return, even if that's just appreciation. We don't usually give to people if they don't appreciate what we give to them. And reciprocity is also the feeling of being compelled to give something back when someone gives to you, even a stranger. And uh, Robert Cialdini has done some incredible studies on this. He's not a uh, he, he's not into NLP, but he's done a lot of studies on influence. In fact, he's written a book called Influence, which I highly recommend, and it floats around a lot in NLP circles. Think about your relationship to your own life, and how does reciprocity fit into that? We tend to not give life 100%. If we're perfectly honest with ourselves, I mean, think about that. Are you really giving life 100%, giving your life 100%, like totally investing in yourself? And that doesn't mean ignoring other people and being self-absorbed. It just means you're putting it all out there in your relationships, in artistic pursuits, business pursuits, developing your mind, developing your body. Are you really giving everything you've got? And not to the point of exhaustion. You know, this, this is also, it's a sprint and a marathon, so you have to reserve some energy. Most of us are not, if we get honest with ourselves. We kind of tiptoe through life. We kind of give a little bit and see if we get something in return. When it doesn't happen, we say, oh, I'm not gonna do that. When it comes to business, when it comes to our bodies, when it comes to relationships, that's we're very protective. We're concerned about being disappointed. We're concerned about just not getting back what we invest into it. And this is the absolute worst way you could go about this. Now, you, you want to be a little bit careful. You don't want to go taking risk and investing in, in something that is uh, just too risky and you, you haven't researched and you haven't, you don't know enough about it to where, to where you, put, you set yourself up for a huge loss. You know, if you're looking for a relationship with another person, a romantic relationship, don't go grab a person who just has a really bad track record with that. It's not going to make a lot of sense. Following your desires is basically the direction that gives you direction. And as you follow your desires, especially as you fail, especially as you, you, you get disappointed because you don't get what you want, that will evolve your desires. Your desires will change and allow them to change and allow yourself to change direction. Because when you don't give yourself, when you don't give your life 100%, and you live basically through the filter of fear and giving a little bit and waiting to see if you get anything back, the only person you're really cheating is, your, is yourself. The only person you're really limiting is you. Get really honest with yourself and ask yourself, are you caught in this reciprocity cycle where you're waiting for something to happen? Because if you are, it's not going to happen. And if it does, it could be too late. When you're giving 100%, you're going to have those times where you feel empty, you feel hollow, you feel burned out. You feel like you just can't go anymore because you don't have fuel. And fuel being the rewards, fuel being when you get the return on investment. Stay the course. Stay the course, keep going. And some amazing things will start to happen. You will change. Your approach will change. Your desires will change. What you think you wanted will change. And that's the most amazing thing. That is the gift. That is the reward. And you will get rewards. They will come to you. Be open to receiving them. Because sometimes people are, or they give, 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 and they're not open to receiving, which means when the reward shows up, because it doesn't look like what they expected, they don't see it. They don't experience it. This has happened to me in my life over and over. I look back on my life and think, wow, life gave me exactly what I asked for, except it just came in a different looking package. So keep giving and at the same time be receptive to receiving and it will come. You will get rewards far greater than what you, what you invested for sure. 
but that's just going to be the bonus because what you will cultivate is a life of giving and investing in yourself, which means investing in other people as well and in relationships and in business pursuits and art. It's, it means writing that novel. It means traveling to that exotic country that you think, you think is too expensive to go. It's that business pursuit. When you start doing that, the giving becomes its own reward. And then the bonus shows up in other ways as well. So you get, you get much more back than you, than you put into it. The more I let myself go and stop holding back out of fear and just really give life 100%, the more I wonder why I didn't do this sooner because it, it has been an incredible journey and I'm just so excited about everything that's coming from this point forward. Come and invest in yourself in Core Transformation. If you want to learn more about what I'm talking about, Core Transformation is a great workshop taught by Mark Andreas coming up in September. And that is part of investing in yourself. It is part of putting your vulnerabilities out there, being honest with yourself, looking at your obstacles and using those obstacles as the way, driving through those obstacles, using them as a leverage to get what you want and to create the life you desire. If you haven't already, please check out our website, nlp-gym.com. Follow us on Facebook. And like I said at the beginning of the video, if you haven't already, subscribe to this YouTube channel so you can get regular videos. Uh, Facebook has our updates on practices and uh, upcoming workshops as well. So make sure you follow, like and follow our Facebook page. Take care.